Hey guys, we're right here in Hialeah today. Nah, 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 just kidding guys. We're in Palm Beach County. We got Connor right here. Poof. Dude, my friend sent me a picture of this crazy looking boat. And I said, I gotta make my way over there and do a walk through of this boat and also get on it, do a sea trial. All right, I'm gonna get behind the camera and you're gonna do, you're gonna take over, bro. All this right. is gonna be your show. Let's go. We have a unique personal watercraft, two seater with really comfortable shock mounted seats. This boat, you can do for anything from shallow water running all the way to even taking this out in the Gulf. If you pick your days, pick the right days, do the do your research, figure out if you should go out or not. You got Garmin holders, you got your phone holder, a completely 360 surround sound speaker, which is really nice as well. It's right there so you'll be able to hear it easily. You can put bigger speakers if you'd like. We also have running lights on this boat, which is your navigation light. So you'd be able to take this after 6 p.m. and take it after dark, which makes this boat stand out from personal watercrafts. You could take this after hours, take it out at 6 p.m. It's extremely cool. I mean, you got a bimini top. If it's hot out, you go out in the middle of the day, you want to get some shade, you can put that bimini top up. It's very easy to assemble. You can get up on this thing and be able to lift this up right here. And then that leans forward just like that. Extremely cool, very cool bimini top. You can sit down in this thing. It's extremely comfortable. And you got clearance from your head. You got stick steering right here. This is how you steer the boat. So just like an airboat. And you're just having fun the whole time. You got your standard shifter throttle on the right. You got a trim button here to be able to raise and lower your engine. And you can just rip on this thing. It's extremely fun. One of the coolest boats I've ever ridden on my entire life. One of the coolest designs I've seen, an incredibly unique boat, and it catches everyone's eye on the water. Every time I'm on this thing, I got 100 people on the water, everyone's looking at me, pointing at it, saying, look at that little mini airboat, what is that? Is that a roadster on the water? And it's just a sweet boat. I mean, easy to maintain, $25 in gas for a full eight hours of running time. How many miles is that? Depending on miles, depends on how fast you're running, so, we go by hours so that you can time your route. You can go quite a long time on a few hours. You're going 25 miles an hour. You got one hour, you can go 25 miles an hour. You can go 25 miles. That's that's a pretty long time. But full throttle all day long, you're looking at around six hours of running time. Comes well, with a so six you were saying before that those seats are special because they have some time. Yes, so we have shock mounted seats. We have springs underneath the seats down here. And you can see, so when you're hitting waves, you can have your back supported so it's absorbing through the springs and not necessarily your spine which makes this boat even better more comfortable on the water and then makes it very fun to drive this is one of the coolest boats i've ever driven one of the funnest boats to be on in my opinion can you go on a circle like you, get, like you, you can do donuts circles? you can do all kinds of stuff on this you can zigzag just have a ton of fun and all right they're gonna want to see it yeah we're gonna put some life. No, we're gonna put some clips in there. We're gonna go out on this thing and we're gonna tear it up. But we gotta put some fish on this thing too, bro. This thing is too clear. It's too clean, bro. You wanna put some fish on it? Yeah, bro. All right, yeah, we gotta go get some fish. We'll go get some cool fish for sure. All right, so I see that it has two seats. What is the maximum, maximum capacity for this boat? You can hold 600 pounds on this boat total. And the boat. That would be just my friend Alfred, that would be 600 pounds. Just him. Not just kidding. I only see two seats though. Yes, only two seats right now, but very comfortable for two people. You got plenty of room. You could put a cooler here. The boat only weighs 780 pounds. That's very light, very light boat. What would you say is the advantage of this boat compared to something else? Like if I want to buy this setup right here, everything that I see here, how much will I have to spend to get it? So with this, everything you see on the boat, not including the trailer, is 22,300. And the and trailer? The trailer would be, depending on which trailer you want, we have an in-town trailer, which is an additional 1,500, or we have a travel trailer, which is an additional 2,500. $25,000. I could be looking at getting this boat with a travel trailer and all that stuff. Yes, sir. But what is the delivery time like? If someone wants to order, how long before they could get their hands on one of these things? Right now, November of this year. November? Even you guys are behind. Wow, it's incredible, huh? Yeah, it's a process to get these boats together. We have a ton of interest. The boat market right now is up a ton. Everyone is looking to get on the water and this is something that's unique that no one has. This is the only boat 
the hyperglider that's in the whole country right now. This design, this model, just a catamaran of course, but this specific hyperglider is the only one right now. And in the next few months, there'll be more and more getting out there around the country. So it'll be really cool to see. So why would I get this over, let's say, a jet ski or maybe a, a micro skip or something like that? So a jet ski, you can only take out till 6 p.m. at night. You can't take those out after dark. On a jet ski, you're sitting right behind one another. In my opinion, I don't find that comfortable. I don't like getting, feel like I'm about to get thrown off a boat. Jet skis have a little bit too much power. On this boat, you have complete back support and you're in a comfortable seat where you're gonna be comfortable the whole time you're driving. It's gonna make it a fun ride and driving this thing compared to a jet ski, compared to a boat, is just out of the world. It's so fun, you can't get tired of it and when you watch it, you just love watching it as well. Is this thing unsinkable? It is unsinkable. And, and why is that? Can you, can you tell me why? So each pontoon is completely separated from any of the other pontoons. So we have three pontoon chambers in here. It is a catamaran, but there is a center chamber in here as well, but everything is separated. We have crash bulkheads in the front, and then we have bulkheads that are separating the single holes that allow this boat to be completely unsinkable. It's not 100% foam filled in the center, but each piece of fiberglass that is half inch thick is filled with what's known as closed cell foam. Do you have an example of that? I do, over here. So this is our closed cell foam, and this is our sandwich foam construction that we vac seal at the end, and we suck this tight. And each of these little lines right here act as bridges. These are resin bridges, these are the fiberglass, and each of these add extra support, so this is very strong. And you can feel how light this is. I mean, I could hold it up with, it's extremely light. So this is why it's only 600 pounds? 780 pounds. 780 pounds, and when you say that, are you including the, the motor, the beam? Yep, the motor, everything you see on this vessel right here, full gallon of gas, everything. Oh, wow. So what is the, well, I guess it depends on what they're gonna use to power, but what's the capacity of this, six, six gallon? So we is this a, the biggest that you so can go? So we have a six gallon tank on there. We can have a 10 gallon tank that we could put on there. Six gallons with this 30 horsepower, you get the eight hours of running time, six hours full throttle the whole time. We can always put the 10 gallon tank on there if you would like, but not really necessary for this unless you're doing a full 12 hour run, anything longer than that. We weighted this to have a 60. We do not know the performance yet, so we are only keeping a 30 horse for now. In the next month or two, we will be performing a 40 horse, eventually a 50, and maybe putting a 60 on there once we see the performance of the 40 and the 50. But right now, with just this vessel, with the 30 horse, it goes 27 miles an hour with two people. And that's very fast for this small boat being right there along the water. And if you think about a skiff, a skiff is a V-hole, so it's not very stable. When you walk to gunnel to gunnel, side to side, it's a lot tippier. On this boat, it's a catamaran. Each holes are separate, so when you transport weight, it does not shift as much as it would on a V-hole. And that's what makes this boat incredibly awesome. I mean, you can't, this boat stands out from any other vessel out there. And Bro, you just, it really sounds like you really love this boat. No, yeah, this boat's amazing. I mean, I'm in love with it. I'm getting one for myself eventually. I was doing some research on this yesterday, and I read something about drifting. And I'm like, what is that? Can you tell me a little bit about what is drifting on a boat? Is, is this some sort of like a airboat or something? So. so this is not necessarily an airboat, but it performs as an airboat. It has, we clip these chines right here, and these are what's known as chines right here. We clip these off so that when you come into a turn, it does not catch like a regular boat. It actually slides, which we call drifting. So the back end will slide around on the back end and it makes it incredibly fun to drive. This boat stands out from any other type of boat because an airboat, you got a very loud engine on the back. This is very quiet. You're gonna be enjoying the time while you're out there. You don't have to be wearing headphones. You can be enjoying the time, just having a blast out there. So you could basically turn on the spot? Then? Oh, you could turn on a dime. You can do donuts on a dime and just keep it full throttle and just keep doing donuts until you get dizzy, of course, and maybe uh, scare your passenger a little bit, but never be able to actually throw your passenger out because we have shock-mounted racing seats on there that make it very stable. 
and that boat slides, so it doesn't want to throw anyone out. I was also reading that it drafts at about four inches and a half. So with the engine all the way up, less than six inches of water. Five inches with no one on the boat, less than six inches with people on the boat, depending on what weight you have on there. With have the you engine, tried push pulling this thing? I have tried push pulling it, so I'll either stand back here and I will push pull it, but on our fish model, we're gonna be coming out with a pulling platform that will come off the back here. You'll be able to stand up here, have a full walking platform or a small walking platform that you'd be able to stand from, either sight fish or be able to push pull yourself around, which will give you a huge advantage in the flats for red fishing, trout fishing, any type of backcountry fishing that you could imagine. So this is more like your family fun, well, I guess not family is only two people, but like your afternoon fun. Definitely. If you, if you live in the Keys, if you live near Crystal River, if you live here in Florida, this is a boat that you could get as a two-person boat that you're going to be able to take and travel to either the Keys, take it to Crystal River, Port Ritchie, get a ton of scallops, get the lobsters in the Keys, go spear fishing on this boat. There's so many different aspects that you could do on this thing from duck hunting to all types of cool things, especially getting in the shallow water. and then you can run in the deep water as well. And I see that you could easily get on the boat, right? If you uh, jump in, you wanna, you're at the sandbar, you wanna do something fun, it's not that high, and it's like an open type of concept. Like, you don't have like the pee hole. Exactly, you, you, just step, like... you can step right in this thing. This is sitting on the water, you're in about knee deep water. You can easily step up. If you don't have the best knees, you can sit here and then just slide your butt up be able to get on the boat easily, swing yourself around, and be able to get up on the boat. And it's very easy to get in and out of. The bimini top so easy to take care of. And then you just flip this up, boom, and it's down. You're good to go if you want to get some sun. Then you can put it back up whenever you're ready to take on that shade and don't want to get too much UV rays out there. So basically, everything that people are seeing here on this video right now is included on that 22,300 yes 20, with just the boat here just, wait, 25,000 with the trailer exactly. and everything so it's with everything the that you trailer. see here and this is the standard battery box for a 24 volt battery looking at this right here this is a throttle you go forward and you go reverse and then to steer the boat you use this thing right here just like a right. boat right yep so those are your docking lights your anchor lights and your navigation lights for your red and green navigation you also have these bright lights up top, so you'd be able to see, you can light up the water in front of you, and this will roll up so that that won't be obstructed. And you got this standard shifter throttle, rocket launchers like I pointed out, and you got your foldable cleats right here, so you'd be able to tie up very easily. I always keep a line tied to each cleat. I keep a line tied here and wrapped around there, and then if I pull up to the restaurant, I can easily tie up the boat, very simple easy to get in and out of, and it's extremely stable. I wish we could have it on the water right now so we could see, but. Yeah, no, we're gonna do that. The boats are made right in Port Charlotte, Florida, and manufacturing facility is right there, and we keep a fleet of these boats on Cape Hayes Marina, where people can come out and actually drive them for themselves and be able to take them out, do a fun little tour business, have a ton of fun, gives the people opportunity to try the boat for themselves. You can stand right here and fish, you'd be able to stand up from here and be able to fish. This will all have a non-skid deck on it. Right now it doesn't, it's a demo boat, but it will have a complete non-skid deck. You'd be able to stand up here and you could fish from these positions as well if you wanted to. Or if you fish from here, which I usually just fish from there, once I hook a fish, that's the time I need to maybe stand on this pontoon if I need to get my rod further out to be able to fight that fish. You could fish from anywhere here. In the yes. middle, in the front, right here in the back next to the motor. Yep, and these platforms right here, and you can walk on these right here. That's why we put this long sea deck right here so that you have grip when you walk on here. These are carbon fiber wings. So anyone can walk on these no matter the weight. These can hold a lot of weight. They're, they would never break. So you could be able to walk on this and you hold on to this as you walk to the back. And then you could step back here and either be able to push pull yourself around or be able to raise your engine up this way if you needed to, or get to your engine if you ever needed to, if you needed to do maintenance, or if you accidentally suck something up in the prop. 
And the reason we picked this engine is because it's used by the Navy SEALs and the Aquatic Marines. And it has a patent lower unit that is has a stronger gear structure, so that's patented, so no one else can use it. And that's why we chose this engine because we think it'll be a lot longer lasting. The gas tank will have to stay up because you guys don't have any sort of internal gas tank or anything like that. No, it'll be all exterior, and then we have a water fuel separator here. So if any water were to get into your fuel, this would separate that so you don't have any issues with your engine with the water getting in there and it shutting down. And these are all lifting points as well. So if you have a davit system or you're at a marina, someone could put a bridle system and be able to lift from these points right here. And same thing on that side, be able to lift it. And then we have a lifting port in the center up there. So you'd be able to lift this boat out of the water. So basically, if you want to go on a donut, you just push this thing forward. That's right. Whew. You know we got to put this thing to the test. He said that this thing is unflippable and unsinkable. Right. Well, nothing is really unflippable, but near impossible to flip or sink. But we we gotta try this. We, we gotta are. take it on the water. We gotta take this thing through rough weather. That's right. And the most important thing is we wanna do the little what do you call that drifting? Donuts drifting. The donut drifting, and we wanna catch a bunch of fish. That's right. right. We, we gotta make it happen, bro. We got it. You're on record. Yep. We're, we're gonna, gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen for sure. Let's go. All right. <laughs> 